I'm so excited to be here uh, with my two favorite twins. Uh, <laughs> my name is Pam Sherman, and I will be playing Irma Bombeck in At Wits End at the Cleveland Playhouse this summer. I'm so excited. Um, and if you could each introduce yourselves um, and tell us a little bit about yourselves. Hi, I'm Allison Engel. Grew up in Chagrin Falls, Ohio, the most wonderful town to grow up in. And I currently live in Los Angeles. And I'm Margaret Engel. Everyone calls me Peggy. And I live in outside of Washington, DC, but get home to Cleveland just as often as I can. We have the best music in Cleveland and the best food. I love that you call it home. I am in Rochester, New York. And when I moved to upstate New York, I told my husband I wanted to visit Cleveland because it was a much cooler city and I was so sad we hadn't moved there. I even wrote a column about this incredible trip we had going to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and a concert on the river. And, uh, and I thought Cleveland is kind of like Rochester um, with major league sports. So tell us about Irma's connection to Cleveland and why people should come to the Cleveland Playhouse. We wrote this play because growing up, we would remember our mother in the dining room with the Cleveland Plain Dealer, and Irma Bombeck was syndicated in the Plain Dealer, one of 900 newspapers around the country that she was syndicated. She was the most syndicated columnist ever. Anyway, we would see our mom in the dining room holding the Plain Dealer, laughing so hard, the newspaper was shaking, and we would say, Mom, what's so funny? What's so funny? The only two words she could get out were Irma Bombeck. And Amazing. after that, my twin and I would race home from school, take the plane dealer, throw it down on the floor so we could both read the column at the same time. Wow. So your connected connection to Cleveland and to Irma um, you know, really started in your childhood. And I'm curious why you think um, Irma is still relevant today. I, can I share that she was an inspiration for me? I was a columnist for 15 years in the Gannett system, writing under the moniker, The Suburban Outlaw. Um, it was her irreverent um, point of view and that made it okay for me to say the things I wanted to say. I always tell people I got to make fun of my husband in print. What a great job. Um, so why do you think she's still relevant today? Well, Irma is really timeless, and I think that um, she put shown a spotlight on what it was like to really be a mother, not a sanitized, wearing pearls and high heels and a shirtwaist sort of thing, but what life was really like, and boy, did people respond to that. And people will always respond because we always have kids in the world and moms. And here's a bit of Irma humor. She said, when my kids become wild and unruly, I use a nice, safe playpen. When they're finished, I climb out. And that's how she was. And, you know, she's from Dayton, Ohio. So she has real strong Buckeye connections. And the Dayton Daily News, of course, was a huge uh, proponent of hers. And I think because she talks about family life, what goes on behind closed doors, and that is what is ringing a bell then and now. About Absolutely. Her. I think also she's still relevant because uh, she really made a difference uh, sharing the stories of women who didn't normally have a voice. And, you know, I think about even today, there's people who are making the case for pay, paying women in the home for the work that they do and the value that they provide. She made them feel respected while also sharing with heart and humor um, their true circumstances. And I, for me, that that's what made her so special. And what I love about playing her is that I think, um, you know, she speaks, you know, she's relevant to me as a, as a quote unquote modern woman in the workforce, because I totally agree with her point of view about feminism and equality and that awakening in her um, is really, really special. And although she did do a lot of poignant, serious columns. Let's just face it, she was darn funny. And she was Johnny Carson's favorite guest. She cracked him up all the time. She had 12 best-selling books of her columns on the New York Times bestseller list. And she was a correspondent for 15 years for Good Morning America. People love her humor. Even today in Dayton, 
every other year, there is the Irma Bombeck Writers Conference and humor writers come and prospective humor, humor writers come from all over the country and go for, a, a, I think it's a, a one week long seminar of, it's just a spectacular conference and it is sold out every year. So she's as, like, as relevant today as, as she was when she was writing in the 60s. So here's my hope. Given that they, they literally sell out in 20 minutes, my hope is now that you all know about At Wit's End and Irma Bombeck, and you've met the incredible playwrights, and you can um, uh, c- come see me every night, that you'll all come, and we'll sell out in 20 minutes too, right? Wouldn't that be awesome? That's, That's great. great. Yeah. <laughs>